I'm going to talk today a little bit about vegan celebrities or celebrity vegans. I, know, I guess there's two different categories. One of them is celebrities who are known for something else, um, whatever, Natalie Portman or whatever, who happen to be a vegan. I guess Joaquin Phoenix would be a great example. Um, or then you have people who are celebrities simply because they're vegan. Uh, James Aspie, Earthling Ed, those type of guys. Um, Jason Veganicus. <laughs> Anyways, um, so those type of guys are kind of get they, get, they get criticized a lot. Sort of like how, you know, the, you know, the, we, vegans tend to eat their own, you know, eat their young or whatever. Uh, so James Aspie, little Jimmy Aspie, as I call him, because, you know, we're tight, right? Picture of Jar Jar and myself with Jimmy, I'll put up right about here. And um, yeah, we were pretty tight, you know, when we met for 30 seconds at a festival last summer. So I feel like we created a bond, especially Jar Jar and Jimmy. Those two really hit it off, you know, because they're both characters. <laughs> right? Anyways, so he's under fire because he took a picture in a slaughterhouse and people are criticizing for that and whatever. We've all fucking done that for first. First off, we've all done it. Okay, people are criticizing. He travels around the world with his probably hot girlfriend. I don't follow him. I don't follow any vegan celebrities. I just do my own thing, and I don't want to be tainted by other people's ways. You know, uh, maybe I could learn something. I'd probably be more successful. <laughs> but anyway, I don't even care. The bottom line is, he's under fire for taking a picture at a slaughterhouse, traveling around the world. I've taken pictures in slaughterhouses. The people who I know I've seen criticizing have probably done it, you know, or if they haven't, they wish they could have the nerve to go and do it. Um, big fucking deal, man. Uh, guy travels the world with his hot girlfriend or wife, whatever she is. Fucking awesome, man. Who wouldn't want to do that? My, my feeling is that the people who spend a lot of time criticizing these people are failed activists themselves. They wish they could be in that position. Who wouldn't want to be in that position? You know, I mean fuck it, man. I mean, I gotta do my shitty job every day and squeeze in activism wherever I can. I mean, who wouldn't? I'm not going to get jealous of the guy. I mean, the guy's got smiles for miles, man. Who? So he's got charisma. I mean, most of these people criticizing him have zero charisma. I mean, what do you want? I mean, you know, I ain't going to be on the cover of any magazine anytime soon. I accept it. I'm not going to criticize the guy because he's handsome and charismatic. I mean, that's, at the end of the day, that's what people are doing. You know, they, they pile on these bikini models and, oh, they're, you know, they're promoting veganism in the wrong way. You know what? They're promoting veganism to the people who are going to respond to that message. Jimmy Aspie is preaching veganism to a lot of people who are receiving that message. You know, these people criticizing with a thousand followers or, you know, 5,000 followers, 20,000 followers, you ain't shit compared to those guys. So instead of trying to build your name off of criticizing people who've actually achieved something, create your own niche. Do your, do you, you do you, as they, as they say, you know, um, that, you know, I remember like 25 years ago, a guy I worked with had a saying, and he, he said, crabs it was about crabs and you know if the crabs are in a bucket he was from the philippines i guess he did a lot of crabbing or whatever and his analogy to humans was if the crabs are in the bucket and one of them looks like it's going to escape the, according to him the other crabs would pull that crab back in so it couldn't get away and it would be stuck in the same bucket with the rest of them and whether or not that's even factual i don't know it doesn't even matter i uh, 25 years later I know that to be true for humans. Anytime people are in the same environment, one person starts to climb up and start to succeed a little bit. You see everybody who start backstabbing, piling on, and just, you know, trying to sabotage them. And it's not, it's because they themselves have failed. And it makes them feel better if others around them are in the same boat. It justifies their failure, in essence. And, um, I take no part in that. I could get jealous that Jimmy Aspie gets to travel to the Bahamas, promote veganism in a, in a fucking whatever on a beach, you know, so I don't even know what he does, but that's what I'm, that's what I'm seeing the criticism. Uh, so fucking what dude, like good for him, man. He's living the dream. He's doing what he loves, doing what he believes in and making a living at it. Isn't that like the dream? Isn't that the dream? Why would you hate on a guy who's living the dream? 
That's all I got to say. And I'm not judging or I'm not defending him per se because I really don't give a shit. I am not a fan, a follower, any of that stuff. I just see jealous vegans who have failed at life piling on somebody who has succeeded. And that's just stupid, man. That's weak. And that's not what my veganism is all about. My veganism is about helping the animals. And a guy like Jimmy Aspie, Earthling Eddie, whoever it is, um, little, uh, little Joey Carbstrong, I don't even know. They're all kicking ass for the animals. And that's better than most of us. So lay off, guys. Do your own thing. Don't worry about what the other guys. Don't be that crab in the bottom of the bucket. Don't be the bottom crab. Don't be crabby bottoms. Don't be a little big old crabby bottom, okay? Help them up. Lift them up so we can help the animals. We want to help the animals or do we want to criticize each other and try to gain fame off of somebody else's hard work? I choose the former.